Big Boys Neighborhood. I'm Ricky Martinez sitting here with John Legend. How you doing, John, Ricky? I need to bring this up. You bring out even in the most gangster rapper, you can bring out the lover boy in them. Like <laughs> what you did with Rick Ross on this record, who do we think we are? Yeah. Is that hard for you to tell them like, okay, put put the G aside? Nah, they I know mean- what to do. They they know they listen to the track and they know how to get in the zone of the track. Um, these guys, they're great writers, they're great professionals, and uh, they make the love records too, occasionally. Yeah. And so uh, when they listen to the track, they listen to what I'm singing about, they just get into that zone. Mm-hmm. Now, you brought us love in the past with all of your great records. Yes. You're bringing us love in the future. Love in the in future. The, the yes. album. Yes. And you recently dropped this track, the Dance the Pain Away at Coachella, right? Yeah, that's on uh, Benny Benassi's album. Uh, it's not on my album. Oh, my gosh, but, though. Um, you know, we did it as a collab, and uh, it, it was actually one of the songs I was writing uh, possibly for my album Mm -hmm. and it wasn't a a dance uh, version of the song at the time it was just a a guitar ballad at the time but the writer I was working with that we um, uh, we co-wrote the song together and he had an idea to make a dance remix of it because the song talks about dancing and dancing the pain away. Mm-hmm. And so uh, he had an idea to do an EDM version of it. And so he sent it to Benny to uh, remix it. And uh, the there collab uh, happened and, and we performed it at Coachella for the first time last week. And that's what happened. Like your album's dropping June 25th, summertime album, yeah, right? Yeah, this summer, yeah. Okay. Is that what we can expect from the album? That type of feel? No. Or is it? No, it, it'll be a John Legend feel, you know, okay. soulful. And, uh, you know, the dance mix was a, a thing on its own. Mm-hmm. But uh, my album is definitely a, a soul album. Okay. Some fly soul music. From good music. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. All, all day, every day, good music good and John music. Legend. We've been together f- since the beginning. And uh, mm-hmm. I'm still working with good music and uh, proud to be doing that because um, we've been making great music for a long time. I've always wanted to ask you this. You're from Springfield, Ohio. Yes. You ever wonder where the heck the Simpsons were at? Yeah, you know, people always (laughs) ask me that. (laughs) Sorry. There's Springfields in, you know, so many states across the country. There's like a Springfield, Pennsylvania, Missouri, Mm -hmm. Illinois, Ohio, New York. What? Yeah, there's a lot of Springfields. It's one of the most common names for a city. And I think that's why the Simpsons picked it because it was like every every town USA. But, um, you know... We'll claim them, you know. It's like the <laughs> longest running show in Ever. in history. <laughs> so I'll claim it. <laughs> I also wanted to talk to you about Download. Yeah. So Miami-based show, HBO yeah. picked it up, rapper trying to make it. This yeah. rapper happens to be gay. Yeah. Do you think that'd be possible in real life? You know, that's what, what the show is. You know, it's trying to explore that possibility mm-hmm. because uh, it feels like there's only a couple areas where you can't be gay. Mm-hmm. Like hip-hop is one mm-hmm. and like sports is one. And so uh, the writer, when when we were uh, thinking about making a show about the music business, we got a bunch of different ideas. And most of them were just normal, here's an artist trying to make it right. in the business kind of uh, shows. And we felt like that's already been done. It's not fresh. It's not really that provocative or interesting. But one of the writers that we talked to came to us with this idea that put a twist on it. And we felt like the twist was intriguing yeah. and we should try to make the show. And so... I don't know if people understand, you know, we're based in L.A., so I think a lot of people understand the TV business a little more here than other places. But uh, when you pitch a show to a network, you just pitch the idea to them. They say, OK, we're going to pay the writer to go off and write the script. And so right now he's just writing the script. And okay. then it may get shot uh, as a pilot and it may get picked up after it's a pilot. So right now it's in the very earliest of stages. So mm-hmm. we'll see if it comes out or not. But we wanted to do some provocative television. We got another show with them called How to Be Black, also oh. at HBO. And so so we wanted to do some great provocative TV, and this is one of the ideas that we have. Is there a passion from you there in that area? In, just- in, in TV and yeah. film? Absolutely. Um, I love telling great stories. Uh, I feel like my job is to be a storyteller anyway as a musician. I was an English major in college, and so I do a lot of reading, and I think about um, you know the writing process quite a lot. And so as a TV and film producer, we just try to work with great writers right. that have interesting ideas that we think uh, should be on TV or for, on, on film, and uh, we try to make it happen. And on the musical side, you have an artist here with yeah, you today. Yeah, Stacey Barth. How are you doing, Stacey? Well, how are you? Stacey, tell me about yourself. I know you said you're from New York. You're in L.A. right now. Mm-hmm. How is the transition coming into just being under someone like John Legend, first of all, and expressing your craft? Um, it's The ride has been pretty amazing mm-hmm. thus far. I actually started out as a songwriter, and I've written songs for, um, I wrote Cheers for Rihanna, mm-hmm. wrote for Britney Spears, Blur, um, Katy Perry, Alicia Keys. So I was already in the in music there. business, and I just sort of got tired of singing or writing everyone else's song, and I decided to become an artist. So 
which wasn't even in my peripheral like mm-hmm. a couple of years ago. So, you know, he discovered me along with his partner, Eddie Blackman, and the ride has been amazing. And he's an artist himself, yeah. so he lets me just do my thing. And there's a lot to be said for him because he's an amazing creator and he just understands that aspect and just lets me do my thing. And what brought you to her? Well, um, Eddie Blackman, who's been working with me for years, um, he helps run my label, Homeschool Records. Mm -hmm. And uh, he discovered her and brought her to my attention. And um, I knew of her work. I heard of uh, the songs that she had written before. Mm -hmm. But uh, I wanted to, uh, you know, listen to what she was doing as an artist. And he played me some of her stuff. I just felt like she had a distinctive voice. She had a passion and a story to tell. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel like artists that have that story, they need a chance to to be out there. And so we we try to enable artists like that to, to do that thing. That's wonderful. So right now you're in the working on the project. Is there a project yeah, coming Yeah, I actually you? have three um, EPs that Girl. are available. Um, Sincerely Yours, mm-hmm. In the In-Between, and now this one is coming out, P.S. I Love You. It'll be available May 7th. There you go. And um, I'm working on an album for September release. Go ahead. Yes. Come on the lookout. Okay, so we've seen singers like Trey Songs, like Chris Brown, yeah. dabble into rap. Yeah. Would John Legend ever <laughs> think of that or have you ever tried that? You know, I know <laughs> what my gifts are. I did one <laughs> thing uh, with Consequence back in the day. Um, uh, it's called Feel This Way, where he r- wrote a couple lines for me and I did like a back and forth with him. But... Um, you know, I realize I'm not a great rapper, <laughs> and uh, I'm a really, really, really good singer and songwriter. Great singer. <laughs> and so I figure I'll focus on what I do very well. <laughs> there you go. Yes. <laughs> would John Legend still be the rap name? Or would we have an <laughs> alter ego? Of course. John Legend is a rap name. Like, why is that not a rap name? <laughs> it's a rap name. <laughs> but I, cut it down to the legend. <laughs> oh, shoot. Thank you so much for yeah. hanging out with us, John Thank Legend. You. Thank you. so much, Stacey. Like, we really are looking forward to what you have to yes. bring. And, of course, June 20, summer release. June summer 20th. release for uh, the album Love in the Future and the single Who Do We Think We Are with Rick Ross mm-hmm. is out right now. The video's coming next week. So. Awesome. And can we it. get where we can find you? Yep. Um, StaceyBarth.com on Twitter. B-A-R-T-H-E. Yes. Boom. I am Stacy Barth on Instagram, uh, at Stacy Barth on Twitter, and um, if her you Google, voice already. <laughs> she got a silky smooth, voice. Like, just silky keep voice. talking. Keep, what? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but if you Google my name, like all my music will come up. I have a bunch of stuff on my. Mind. I'm also on the hook with um, Ti and Andre 3000, the Sorry Record. Oh my gosh! That's me on the hook. What's up? There you guys have it. Power 106, Big Boys Neighborhood. <laughs>